guys so uh, bad news for you I won't be able to to video the um, room tour today um, something came up and uh, that has to draw my attention away from doing that video <clears throat> and um, this happened to us last year but my um, kitchen faucet froze up uh, the hot side um, so, but they're off, both off right now because I turn off the main supply. So, it sucks. Like I said, uh, it happened last year as well. And I'll show you why it happens. <clears throat> Let's take you out back here real quick and show you what's up. So, basically, the way that they, uh, these houses, this house is, was built is the foundation stops here but then you can see a cantilever's out and that is exactly where my um, my pipes are ran for the kitchen sink uh, they go inside there and then they go up the wall so and then of course I got the AC compressor right here which blows a bunch of cold air right up onto the ceiling right there so last time it happened um, it froze up and uh, what I did was I took a hair dryer and um, defrosted the pipe and um, was hoping that it didn't burst the pipe because uh, that's what happens when I when water freezes you know obviously turns into ice and when that happens um, ice expands and then it, it can actually pop or burst your copper water lines and that's exactly what happened last time so I'm hoping that this time it's just frozen um, and also last time um, instead of turning the water off first I went ahead and cut the water line on and defrost the pipe but when I did that the uh, the hole that was in the pipe of course let all the water out and it ran down inside the wall down across the bottom there and then flooded the whole freaking floor so i had to cut all the bottom out of the drywall i cut out maybe i don't know three feet up two two or three feet up off the floor cut all that wet drywall out because it will mold if you did, if you leave it in there it will turn into mold so I don't know. I thought maybe I'd take you guys with me and um, with my uh, adventure here and um, fix this pipe. Hopefully, it's not it's not uh, broken. But since I had to replace the ceiling out here last time, uh, I can simply undo a couple of screws, pop that piece down, and then actually physically look at the pipe and then um, work on defrosting it. And then I'm also going to. Uh, try to fix it so it won't ever happen again um, so stay tuned I'm gonna do that now I'm gonna find a drill and everything and get started all right so obviously you can tell I got my mask on I bought this when I had my motorcycle and I got the ceiling down and you can see what I did I tried to insulate the damn pipe as well as I could. Watch, see this? The spray foam and all that shit. But you can see how the pipe comes from inside and, come, and then it comes outside and then goes up to the sink. And that's a big problem because all this pipe can get frozen. And that's what it did again. So I gotta chip away all the uh, spray foam and uh, get to the pipe and see if there's a hole in it and then I'll start to defrost it and then um, I think what I'll do is I'm gonna open this up this insulation back here and then maybe I might build some kind of uh, box around the two pipes with um, the styrofoam stuff and then so my hope is that the hot air that's inside will generate through and keep the pipe warmer than what it is. I was hoping all this insulation 
would work. Uh, but it looks like it made it a harder job for me because now I gotta scrape all that shit off. So I'm gonna put you down and uh, take care of this real quick. Doesn't look like it burst, so I'm gonna head over to Home Depot now and get some uh, some styrofoam insulation. And uh, yeah, I'll turn it back on. And um, once I get down there and put it in place, I'm basically gonna build a box around the pipe, hoping to trap the hot air from inside the house in and around the pipe. Instead of insulating the pipe all the way around, Oh, I think my power turned off at some point. My, my oven's beeping or blinking. Uh, so yeah, that's my that's my uh, my idea, and that should work. Um, and also the uh, it's always the hot pipe that's gonna freeze before uh, before a cold the cold pipe does. So keep that in mind. I'm still gonna insulate the cold pipe as well, but. Uh, I'm just looking for my hat. Uh, yeah. Alright, so I'll hit you back up later. Alright, so I got the stuff that I need. I bought a whole bought a whole sheet of the um, styrofoam I need because they sell the the two by two, two foot by two foot squares for five bucks each. So if I bought two of those, I'd been, it would have been like ten bucks or something like that. So uh, maybe I can find a use for uh, what I don't what I don't use um, For this project maybe I can use it on something for something else and, um, and that just cost me 11 bucks for the whole sheet, so uh, That's the way I, I went about it, and then I had to cut it up to the size I need so Hopefully this will work and it will keep the pipes from freezing uh, again uh, if I could um, I would put a cutoff valve in the laundry room uh, or anywhere where I can reach the pipe that goes out to that kitchen faucet but there's not it um, it's inside the ceiling where I can't reach it so I can't really put a valve um, if I wanted to I can cut a hole in the ceiling in the in the theater and put in a uh, put in a little um, trap door or whatever you call it um, a pant like a little cover and do it that way but I don't want to I don't want to tear up the ceiling and, and uh, uh, it'll look like an eyesore with a with a panel sitting in the ceiling so I don't want to go that route so I'm gonna get back home and uh, my first I'm gonna thaw the pipe out turn the water back on just to double check and make sure that there absolutely is no leak I don't want to do all this work and then find out that there actually is a leak once it defrosts. And that's another thing too, if your pipes ever freeze, um, do not go to work before they thaw out. Do not leave the house. Or if you have to leave the house, turn the main water supply off first and then open your faucets, a couple here and there, to drain the water out because if you're at work and that pipe did burst when it froze and then that ball of ice defrosts while you're at work you better believe that you're gonna have a big ass mess when you get home so um, never ever leave the house when you know you have a frozen pipe so okay. so I'm happy that it didn't burst this time I just thought it out and uh, I don't have to replace any pipe which is good but uh yeah so now i'm going to um uh put together the uh styrofoam and i'm basically just going to box it and i'll show you when i'm done um as uh, for a tip for you guys too uh, if you have a faucet like that leave it uh leave it uh a drip leave it on a little bit and we had it like that too overnight we had it on where on both hot and cold um, 
where it uh, gave a little drip but I guess obviously that wasn't enough so um, like I said I'll uh, turn it back on and show you after I'm all said and done this is the stuff I bought I had to cut a little piece off to make it to have it fit in the back of my van so I'm gonna get ready um, get my tape measure measure everything out and cut it and glue it tape it whatever and then I'll put the insulation back up and then put the board back up. See ya. Hey guys. So I hope you liked today's video. Uh, I hope it was educational for you. There's the app and math. Uh, I didn't turn the camera on before I um, finished up out there. But um, I think you guys get the gist of what I did. So uh let's see tomorrow i think that i'll be able to um get that video done for you about the uh the theater here so all right well i hope you guys liked it if you did please subscribe and uh comment down below um and uh, i'll see well you'll see me tomorrow so all right you guys have a good night and I hope you see me soon. Later.